The third most populous city in Norway, Trondheim, is situated at the mouth of the Nidelva River in Sør Trondelig County. Trondheim is home to prominent technology institutions like the Norwegian University of Science and Technology (NTNU) and St. Olav's University Hospital. Founded in 997 as a trade port, the city-state was Norway's capital from the Viking Age until 1217. The Lutheran Diocese of Naderos and the Naderos Cathedral are currently housed in Trondheim. Welcome back to Din Sweet Travels. Today, we're embarking on a trip to the heart of Norway to explore the enchanting city of Trondheim. Known for its rich history that dates back over a thousand years, Trondheim is a city where the past and present seamlessly intertwine, offering a captivating experience for travelers from all walks of life. Get ready to be captivated by this northern jewel, where every corner tells a story, and every view takes your breath away. Stay tuned as Din Sweet Travels takes you on an unforgettable journey through the streets and stories of Trondheim. Number 7. Sversborg Trondelig Folk Museum. This open-air museum displays the cultural history of Trondheim and central Norway. With over 80 historic buildings, including a stave church, farmhouses, and workshops, it offers a glimpse into the Norwegian way of life through the centuries. Along with that, the museum arranges different cultural events and exhibits that cater to the entire family. The Sversborg Trondelig Folk Museum is one of Norway's most significant cultural history museums. With its extensive collection of artifacts and over 80 historic buildings, the museum provides an immersive experience of Norway's past, from the 16th century to the present. Walking through the museum is like stepping back in time. Each building, whether a farmstead, workshop, or city townhouse, has been carefully relocated and reconstructed to preserve its historical accuracy. The open-air setting amidst Trondheim's natural beauty adds to the experience's charm and authenticity. The museum boasts diverse buildings, including a traditional Sami tent, lavu, a stave church, and typical Norwegian farmhouses. Each structure tells a unique story about Norway's different social classes and regions. What makes Sversborg truly special is its living history approach. During the summer, the museum comes alive with actors portraying life in earlier times, engaging in traditional crafts and sharing stories, making history tangible and engaging for visitors of all ages. A highlight of the museum is the Holt Dalen Stave Church, dating back to the 12th century. This beautifully preserved church is a fine example of medieval Norwegian architecture and provides insight into the country's religious history. Number 6. Stiftsgarden Royal Residence. Stiftsgarden, the royal residence in Trondheim, is one of the largest wooden palaces in Scandinavia. Stiftsgarden, built in the late 18th century, is an imposing 140-room wooden structure that serves as the royal residence in Trondheim. The palace is used for royal events and state visits and is a beloved part of Norway's cultural heritage. This magnificent wooden palace is a significant symbol of Norway's royal heritage. The residence has hosted numerous vital events in Norwegian royal history, including royal birthdays, anniversaries, and official state functions. Visitors can explore Stift's Garden through guided tours, which offer a glimpse into the life of Norwegian royalty. The tours provide insights into the palace's history, architecture, and role in contemporary royal affairs. Inside, Stift's Garden boasts exquisitely decorated rooms, 
each telling its own story. From lavish banquet halls to intimate sitting rooms, the interior decor reflects a blend of historical styles, from Rococo to modern Scandinavian design. Wood throughout the building adds warmth and a sense of homeliness to the royal abode. Due to its central location in Trondheim, Stift's Garden is easily reachable for visitors exploring the city. The palace is open to the public during summer, with specific visiting hours. It's advisable to check the latest visiting hours and book tickets in advance, as the tours are pretty popular. Number 5. Trondheim Science Center. Ideal for families and science enthusiasts, the Trondheim Science Center is where science and technology come to life. It offers hands-on exhibits, a planetarium, and various interactive workshops. It's both educational and entertaining for visitors of all ages. At Trondheim Science Center, visitors venture into innovation and discovery. It is a hub of interactive learning and fun in the heart of Trondheim, Norway. As visitors enter the Science Center, they are immediately drawn into a world where science comes to life. This isn't your typical museum. It's an interactive playground where curiosity leads the way. Upon arrival, visitors are welcomed by interactive exhibits spanning various scientific disciplines, including physics, biology, technology, and astronomy. Visitors get busy with experiments that demonstrate scientific principles in the most engaging ways. Whether creating giant soap bubbles, experimenting with electricity, or exploring virtual reality, the Science Center sparks a sense of wonder in visitors of all ages. The center's interactive exhibits and educational programs aim to inspire a more profound interest in science and technology. The center's planetarium is a star attraction, offering a captivating journey through the cosmos. With state-of-the-art technology, the planetarium shows provide an immersive experience, exploring the mysteries of the universe, from distant galaxies to our solar system. Situated in the city center of Trondheim, the Science Center is easily accessible to visitors. It's an ideal destination for families, school groups, or anyone curious. The center is open year-round, but hours vary by season. For the most up-to-date information, visiting their website to learn about current opening hours, special events, and programs is advisable. The Science Center has visitor amenities, including a cafe and a gift shop where you can pick up scientific toys, gadgets, and educational materials. Number 4. Munkholmen Island. A short boat trip from the city center takes you to Munkholmen Island. This small island has a rich history, serving as a monastery, fortress, prison, and popular recreational area. Originally used as an execution site in the Viking era, the island evolved through the centuries. It famously served as a monastery in the Middle Ages, hence its name, Munkholmen, which means, the monk's islet. Though few, the remnants of this period add a mystical aura to the island. In the 17th century, Munkholmen was transformed into a fortress and later a prison. Walking through the fortress, we can't help but feel transported back in time, imagining the lives of those who were once held within these walls. The guided tours offer insightful stories and anecdotes, making history come alive. Today, Munkholmen is a peaceful retreat, perfect for a day out. Visitors can enjoy picnics on its shores, stroll around the island, or bask in the sun while soaking in the rich historical atmosphere. The island also boasts a charming cafe, where we can relax and enjoy local delicacies, 
all while gazing out at the beautiful views of the Trondheim Fjord and the city in the distance. Munkholmen Island is a must-visit for anyone traveling to Trondheim, offering a unique blend of natural beauty and historical intrigue. Number 3. Christiansten Fortress Perched atop a hill, Christiansten Fortress offers a panoramic view of Trondheim and its surroundings. Built in the 17th century to protect the city from invasions, the fortress is steeped in history. It's an excellent place for a leisurely walk, with well-maintained paths and historical exhibits inside the fortress. Christiansten Fortress was built in the late 17th century following the Great City Fire of Trondheim in 1681. Its primary purpose was to protect the city from eastern invasions and played a crucial role in the defense during the Swedish invasions in the early 18th century. The fortress is named after King Christian V of Denmark and Norway reflecting the historical union of the two countries. The fortress, with its well-preserved structures, including gates, barracks, and underground passages, is an excellent example of military architecture of the time. The central building, known as the Donjon, was used for military and residential purposes and is a testament to the fortress's strategic importance. One of the main attractions of visiting Christiansten Fortress is its unparalleled panoramic views. From the top, you can see the entire cityscape of Trondheim, the winding Niedelva River, and the distant mountains. Inside the fortress are several exhibits detailing its history, including its role in World War II. Christiansten Fortress is located within walking distance of the Trondheim city centre. The walk up the hill to the fortress is relatively steep, but the path is well maintained and accessible for most visitors. There is no admission fee to visit Christiansten Fortress, making it a budget-friendly and enriching experience for all visitors. Number 2. Backland Day a postcard perfect neighborhood. Experience the charm of Trondheim by strolling through Backland Day, a picturesque neighborhood with colorful, old wooden houses and narrow, cobbled streets. This area, with its cafes, boutiques, and galleries, represents the city's soul. With its red gate, the iconic Old Town Bridge, or Gamle by Bro, offers a beautiful view of the Niedelva River. Backland Day, originally an industrial area in the 17th century, has transformed into a vibrant and picturesque neighborhood. It's famous for its colorful old wooden buildings, which have been lovingly restored, retaining their historic charm while providing a home to lively cafes, boutique shops, and residents. Your exploration of Backland Day should start at the iconic Old Town Bridge. Built in 1861, the bridge offers picturesque views of the Niedelva River and the colorful riverside houses. Backland Day is located on the east side of the Niedelva River, easily accessible from Trondheim city center. It's a delightful area to explore on foot or by bike. Number 1. Nadero's Cathedral, Nadero'sdemen. Nadero's Cathedral is Trondheim's most famous landmark and a significant historical site in Norway. This magnificent Gothic cathedral, constructed on top of King Olav II's burial site, is from the 11th century. It's a pilgrimage site and has been a vital destination since the Middle Ages. It remains one of Northern Europe's most important Christian pilgrimage destinations. Throughout history, the cathedral has witnessed many important events, such as the coronations of Norwegian kings. Nadero'sdemen is a prime example of Gothic architecture in Norway, showcasing intricate stone carvings, soaring arches, and beautifully crafted stained glass windows. 
The cathedral's west front, ornate sculptures, and rose window are particularly striking. The cathedral's interior is awe-inspiring, with its high ceilings and detailed ornamentation. The transept and choir area, with their elaborate stoneworks and historical significance, are the highlights of the interior. Visitors can explore Nadero's Cathedral throughout the year, but the hours change based on the season and church activities. There is an admission fee, which contributes to the maintenance and restoration of this historic monument. Visiting Nadero's Cathedral offers a glimpse into Norway's religious history and an appreciation for medieval architecture and art. It stands as a beacon of Norway's cultural and spiritual heritage, a place that resonates with beauty, history, and faith. Don't forget to subscribe to Din Suite Travels for exciting travel destinations. As our journey through the vibrant and historic city of Trondheim comes to a close, we are left with a tapestry of memories and experiences that showcase this Norwegian gem's rich cultural and historical fabric. From the breathtaking Nadero's Cathedral to the serene Munkholmen Island, each of the seven destinations we visited provided a glimpse into the essence of Trondheim. This journey has not only been about visiting landmarks, it has been an immersion in the Norwegian way of life. From the educational insights at the Trondheim Science Center to the historical narratives at the Sversborg Trondelig Folk Museum, Trondheim has unraveled itself as a city of learning, innovation, and preservation. Thank you for accompanying me on this remarkable journey in Trondheim. Remember, each destination we explore is a chapter in our own story a story that continues to unfold with every new adventure. Keep following Din Sweet Travels for more explorations and discoveries. Until our next adventure, keep the spirit of travel alive in your hearts, and may your journeys be filled with wonder and joy. Stavanger, located in southwestern Norway, is a vibrant city with a population of around 152,000. It's known for its significant role in the oil industry, but there's much more to this city than meets the eye. Stavanger is a treasure trove of experiences, from historical sites to natural wonders. It is the fourth largest city and serves as the county seat of Rogaland. The townhouse dates back to 1125 and is a cultural treasure due to its many historic buildings from the 18th and 19th centuries. Many people refer to Stavanger and its environs as Norway's oil capital because of its prominence in the oil sector. Several universities call Stavanger home, with the University of Stavanger being the biggest. Hello, adventurous travelers! Welcome back to Din Sweet Travels. Today, we're exploring Stavanger, Norway's fourth largest city, renowned for its cultural heritage and breathtaking scenery, serving as the entrance to the famous fjords. If you dream of a Nordic adventure combining history, art, and stunning landscapes, Stavanger is your go-to destination. Join me as we discover the top 7 attractions in this charming Norwegian city. Whether you're a history buff, nature lover, or culture enthusiast, you'll find something to love here. So, let's dive into Stavanger's 7 best places without further ado. Number 7. Lysfjord Cruise No visit to Stavanger is complete without a cruise along the Lysfjord. The boat tours provide breathtaking views of the fjord, cliffs, and waterfalls. Watch for the Kjørgbolten, a rock wedged between two cliffs, and the Hengjain Falls, which cascade directly into the fjord. The Lysfjord Cruise is a year-round activity, with each season offering a unique charm. Summer provides long days and warmer weather, 
while spring and autumn bring a quieter, more reflective experience. Cruise durations vary, with options suitable for every schedule. Modern and comfortable boats ensure a pleasant journey, with amenities including indoor seating, outdoor decks, and refreshments. It's advisable to book your cruise in advance, especially during peak season. Cruises are an excellent choice for travelers of any age or physical ability due to their accessibility. Number 6. Old Stavanger, Gamle Stavanger. Step back to Old Stavanger, a picturesque area with well-preserved wooden buildings dating back to the 18th century. This historic district, with its white cottages, cobblestone streets, and blooming flowers, offers a glimpse into the city's past. Take advantage of the Norwegian Canning Museum, which showcases Stavanger's history as a significant sardine canning center. Old Stavanger, nestled close to the city harbor, is a delightful area that represents one of Europe's best preserved wooden house settlements. In the 18th and 19th centuries, this district housed workers from the booming sardine canning industry, an essential aspect of Stavanger's economic past. The area has over 170 white wooden houses, each exuding a quaint, timeless charm. The preservation efforts in Old Stavanger are remarkable, showcasing traditional Norwegian architecture. Walking through these narrow streets, with the petite gardens and classic white picket fences, is like stepping into a living museum. Number 5. Stavanger Cathedral Stavanger Cathedral, dating back to the 12th century, is Norway's oldest cathedral still in use. It's a stunning example of Romanesque and Gothic architecture, with beautiful stained glass and intricate woodwork. The cathedral's serene ambience provides a peaceful retreat from the bustling city streets. Dating back to the early 12th century, Stavanger Cathedral is the oldest cathedral in Norway that has been continuously used since its construction. Initially built under the reign of King Sigurd I, it has witnessed numerous historical events and undergone several renovations, each adding a layer to its rich history. The cathedral's architecture is a fascinating mix of Romanesque and Gothic styles. The original design of the cathedral was Romanesque, but it was transformed into the Gothic style after a fire in 1272. The interior showcases beautiful medieval stone carvings, a richly decorated wooden pulpit, and stunning stained glass windows. The cathedral's altar, dating back to the 13th century, is a remarkable religious art. An exciting feature of the cathedral is the medieval bishop's chair, symbolizing the cathedral's historical importance as the spiritual center of Western Norway. It is a testament to the cathedral's enduring role in Norwegian ecclesiastical history. Number 4. The Valberg Tower Valberg Tower was built in 1850 to 1853 as a watchtower to guard against fires. It has since become an iconic landmark in Stavanger. The city's fire guards used the tower until 1922, and it has witnessed many chapters in Stavanger's development. Standing at 26 meters tall, it's an impressive structure, showcasing the architectural trends of its time. Climbing the tower is like stepping back in time. As you ascend the narrow staircase, each step brings you closer to a breathtaking view of the city and harbor. The top of the tower houses a small exhibition about the history of fire surveillance and the tower's role in the city's past. Reaching the observation deck, you're greeted with a 360-degree view of Stavanger. From this vantage point, 
you can see the city's colorful streets, the bustling harbor, and the distant mountains. On the ground floor, the keeper's apartment has been restored to its 19th century appearance, offering a glimpse into the life of a fire watchman. The apartment, now a museum, is furnished with period pieces, providing a tangible connection to the tower's history. Valberg Tower is in the city center, making it easily accessible on foot or by public transport. It's a must visit for those exploring the city's historic sites. The tower is open to visitors during the summer, usually from May to August. It is recommended to verify the present opening hours before scheduling your visit. Number 3. Norwegian Petroleum Museum Delve into the world of oil and gas at the Norwegian Petroleum Museum. This interactive museum offers insights into the petroleum industry, significantly shaping Stavanger's development. With exhibits on offshore drilling, environmental challenges, and the future of energy, it's a fascinating stop for those interested in industry and technology. The Norwegian Petroleum Museum, known locally as Norsk Olja Museum, boasts a striking architectural design resembling an oil platform. The museum's primary objective is to provide insights into how oil and gas are formed, discovered, and produced. It also explores how petroleum resources impact society and the environment, shedding light on a globally significant and locally relevant topic. People of all ages are guaranteed an engaging visit to the museum, thanks to its variety of interactive exhibits. From drilling cores and machinery to multimedia presentations and simulations, the museum brings the world of petroleum to life. Visitors can experience being in an oil worker's shoes, explore a replica of an offshore platform, and understand the science behind petroleum extraction. There's a dedicated children's area for the young to learn through play. The purpose of interactive games and activities is to ignite curiosity and educate them about energy in an enjoyable and captivating manner. The Norwegian Petroleum Museum is conveniently located in the heart of Stavanger, easily accessible by foot from the city centre. The museum is open throughout the year, but the hours change according to the season. It's a good idea to check the latest opening times before planning your visit. There is an admission fee, with discounts available for children, students, and seniors. Family tickets are also available, making it a great educational outing for families. Number 2. Stavanger Museum The Stavanger Museum is a cultural haven with exhibits on natural history, art, and local heritage. Explore the region's maritime history, view Norwegian art, and learn about Norway's diverse wildlife. The museum is also home to a children's section, making it a perfect family stop. Stavanger Museum, established in 1877, is one of Norway's oldest museums. Its multifaceted collection reflects the cultural and natural history of the region, offering something intriguing for every visitor. The museum comprises several buildings dedicated to different themes, from maritime history to art and natural sciences. The museum's natural history section is a journey through Norway's rich biodiversity. It features extensive collections of flora and fauna, including a captivating bird exhibit. The geological displays offer insights into the region's unique landscape formation. The maritime exhibits, showcasing the city's strong connection with the sea, are particularly fascinating. Stavanger Museum is also home to a remarkable collection of art focusing on Norwegian artists. 
The temporary exhibitions always ensure something new to discover, ranging from contemporary art to thematic historical displays. A special mention of the Children's Museum must be made to engage young minds. Interactive displays and educational activities make it a perfect family-friendly destination, ensuring the museum experience is enjoyable and enriching for all ages. Situated in the heart of Stavanger, the museum is easily accessible whether you prefer walking, public transport, or driving. It's located close to other city attractions, making it an ideal stop for a day of sightseeing. It is open year-round, but hours may vary by season. There is an admission fee, with discounts for children, students, and seniors. Additionally, a combined ticket is available at the museum, which allows entry to multiple other museums in Stavanger. Number 1. Prykestolen, the Pulpit Rock Perched 604 metres above the Lysfjord, Prykestolen offers one of the most iconic views in Norway. This massive cliff is a must-visit for hiking enthusiasts and those seeking breathtaking views. The hike to the top is moderately challenging, taking about two hours each way but the panoramic vistas of the fjord are well worth the effort. Wear durable footwear and bring a camera to capture the breathtaking views. Prykestolen is commonly known as the Pulpit Rock. This stunning cliff, towering 604 meters above the Lys Fjord, offers a hike and an experience of a lifetime. Get ready to hike Prykestolen with me. So put on your boots and grab your camera. Located near Stavanger, reaching the Pulpit Rock starts with a scenic drive through the Norwegian countryside. In Stavanger, you have the option to either rent a car or participate in a guided tour. From there, it's about an hour's drive to the Pulpit Rock parking area, the starting point of your hike. The hike to the Pulpit Rock is a rewarding challenge. It covers a distance of approximately 8 kilometers round trip and takes about 4 to 5 hours to complete. The trail is well marked and relatively accessible, though it involves some steep and rocky sections. The path takes you through varying landscapes, wooden walkways over marshland, stone staircases built by Nepalese Sherpas, and natural rocky terrain with breathtaking views of the surrounding mountains and fjords. Proper preparation is vital for a successful hike. Here's what you should consider bringing. The terrain can be rugged, so good hiking boots and necessary water and snacks to keep yourself hydrated and energized. The weather is unpredictable, so dress in a way that suits the conditions. Reaching the plateau of Pulpit Rock is a moment of awe and exhilaration. The cliff offers a panoramic and unobstructed view of the Lysfjord and surrounding mountains. The sheer drop and the majestic landscape create a surreal and captivating scene. The best time to visit Pulpit Rock is from April to October, with July and August being the peak tourist months. For a quieter experience, consider hiking in early spring or late autumn. Stavanger offers unforgettable experiences with its mix of historical charm and natural beauty. From the heights of Pulpit Rock to the historical streets of Gamle Stavanger, there's something for every traveler in this Norwegian gem. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Stavanger. This video has inspired you to add this beautiful city to your travel list. Let us know in the comments which of these fantastic places you're most excited to visit. Subscribe to Din Sweet Travels for more travel tips and destination guides. See you on our next adventure. Bye! Bergen is located on Norway's west coast, specifically in Hordaland.
Until Oslo surpassed it in the 1830s, Bergen was the largest city in Norway. At present, the Bergen port handles more than 500,000 people annually. Because of this, it is the nation's busiest port. Names such as the Heart of the Fjords and the City of the Seven Mountains describe Bergen. As the second largest city in Norway, Bergen is also one of the country's most picturesque. Bergen is nestled among seven hills and seven fjords, creating a dramatic backdrop of mountains and water. This picturesque setting is visually striking and contributes to the city's unique climate, characterized by relatively high rainfall, which adds to its lush green environment. The Bergen area provides a seamless combination of nature, culture, and a bustling urban lifestyle all year round. Driving from Oslo to Bergen takes 7 hours and covers 463 kilometers. One can take a direct train from Oslo Central Station. The journey takes about 7 hours. From Oslo Gardermen, one can take a 50-minute flight. Welcome to Din Suite Travels, where we uncover the world's most enchanting destinations. Today, we are taking you to the heart of Norway, a city known as the Gateway to the Fjords. This picturesque city, surrounded by seven majestic mountains and deep blue fjords, offers breathtaking scenery, vibrant cultural heritage, and a lively urban vibe. Join us as we wander through its cobbled streets, explore its colorful houses, and immerse ourselves in the warmth of its local charm. In this video, I will show you seven unique places to visit in Bergen, Norway's second largest city. Number 7. Bergen Fish Market. Situated in the heart of the city, the vibrant and bustling fish market offers fresh seafood, produce, and a variety of local delicacies. One of Norway's most popular outdoor marketplaces is the gorgeous Bergen Fish Market. Among the most vital locations for commerce between farmers, fishermen, and Bergen residents, the fish market has been around since the 1200s. Historically, there were land-based merchants and those who sold their wares from boats along the quay. It was common practice for fishermen outside the city to sell their day's catch at the fish market before returning home in the same boat. Locally grown seafood, fruits, and vegetables are readily accessible. In addition, you may get a wide variety of seafood dishes at several restaurants. There is an indoor fish market that is open year-round and an outdoor market that opens on May 1st and is available throughout summer. As its neighboring areas expanded, the fish market became more and more significant. The neighborhood had a substantial influx of construction throughout the 1700s and 1800s. We explore the bustling fish market, a culinary hotspot in the city center. Here, you can sample local seafood delicacies like salmon, king crab, and caviar. The market is not just a feast for the taste buds but also a sensory explosion with its vibrant atmosphere and lively vendors. Number 6. Bergen Hus Fortress. Several historic buildings make up Bergen Hus Fortress, one of Norway's oldest and best-preserved fortresses, providing insight into Bergen's military past. The heart of the fortress is Haken's Hall, a grand ceremonial hall constructed in the mid-13th century and completed in 1261. This impressive structure, initially built for the wedding and coronation of King Haken Hakonsen's son, stands as a symbol of Bergen's medieval importance. Its robust walls and Gothic arches speak volumes of the era's architectural prowess. Close by is the Rosencrantz Tower, 
an essential part of the fortress's defensive system. As a military stronghold, Bergenhus Fortress has witnessed numerous historical events, including battles and sieges. It was pivotal during the Second World War when German forces occupied it. The on-site museum presents a detailed account of the fortress's military history, with exhibits that showcase artifacts, weapons, and uniforms, painting a vivid picture of its past. Bergenhus Fortress is a historical site and a vibrant cultural venue. It regularly hosts concerts, festivals, and other events, infusing life into its ancient stones. These events provide a unique opportunity to experience the fortress as a relic of the past and as a living, breathing part of Bergen's cultural landscape. Number 5. Edward Grieg Museum Trolldhorgen. The former home of Norway's famous composer Edward Grieg, this museum is a must-visit for music lovers. It's located in a beautiful setting by the Norders Lake. The heart of the museum is Grieg's villa, where he spent the last 22 years of his life. Walking through the villa, we are invited into a personal space that still resonates with the composer's spirit. A short walk from the main house leads to Grieg's composer's hut. This modest wooden structure overlooking the lake served as Grieg's sanctuary, where he composed some of his most famous works. Through a collection of personal artifacts, manuscripts, and exhibits, visitors gain insights into Grieg's artistic process, his contributions to Norwegian national identity, and his impact on the world of music. It's a narrative that celebrates his achievements and humanizes the man behind the music, the tomb of Edward Grieg and his wife, Nina. Located on a cliff overlooking the lake, it's a spot of profound tranquility and reflection, symbolizing the eternal nature of Grieg's legacy. Number 4. The Bergen Aquarium. The Bergen Aquarium offers an extensive collection of marine life from Norway and worldwide. Over 400 exciting creatures are on display at Bergen Aquarium. The aquarium also lets visitors get close to more common fish and animals. Visitors can see the 60 tanks showcasing marine life, including fish, crabs, and mollusks. While most of the creatures come from marine life in Norway, there are more exotic fish and other species from across the globe. Visitors find the most bizarre creatures in the tropical area, including iguanas, turtles, snakes, and crocodiles. Inside, the aquarium is divided into various zones dedicated to different aspects of marine and freshwater ecosystems. The exhibits are thoughtfully designed, providing an immersive experience that captivates visitors of all ages. Highlights include the mesmerizing jellyfish display, where these ethereal creatures float gracefully in their tanks, and the tropical section with its colorful coral reefs and vibrant fish. The attention to detail in replicating these habitats offers visitors a realistic glimpse into these underwater worlds. One of the most engaging features of Bergen Aquarium is its interactive touch pools. Visitors can experience a tactile connection with marine life, gently touching starfish, sea urchins, and even small crabs under careful supervision. Number 3. Code Art Museums. This museum offers one of the largest collections of art and design in the Nordic countries, including works by Edward Munch and Nikolai Estrup. The Code Art Museums in Bergen, Norway, are a remarkable constellation of museums and one of the most prominent cultural attractions in the city. Code consists of several museums, each offering a unique exploration of art, design, and music, making it a destination that art enthusiasts and casual visitors should notice. 
Codes Museums. Code consists of four main buildings. Code 1, 2, 3, and 4, each with its distinct focus and collection. They are conveniently located in the city center, close to each other, and along the picturesque Lille Lungegaard's Van Lake. Code 1. This building primarily focuses on crafts and design. It houses extensive collections of silver and gold objects and iconic Norwegian and international design pieces. Code 1 also often hosts temporary exhibitions. Code 2. Known for its contemporary art exhibitions, Code 2 offers an array of modern art pieces and installations. It is a dynamic space for contemporary artistic expressions, showcasing Norwegian and international artists. Code 3. This museum is dedicated to fine art and is home to one of the largest collections of art by the renowned Norwegian painter Edward Munch, including versions of his famous work, The Scream. Code 3 also features works by other Norwegian artists like J.C. Dahl and historical interiors. Code 4. This building houses the Rasmus Myers collection, which includes works from the Golden Age of Norwegian art, historical interiors, and pieces by international masters. It also features a unique section dedicated to children, making art accessible to the younger audience. The Edward Grieg Archive. Apart from the main buildings, Code is also responsible for the Edward Grieg Archive, which includes Trolldhorgen, the home of Norway's famous composer Edward Grieg. This site is a part of Code, but located outside the city center, offering insights into the life and work of Grieg. Experiences at Code Visitors to Code can enjoy the extensive art collections and participate in various educational programs, concerts, and special events. The museums deeply dive into Norway's artistic heritage while embracing contemporary and international art forms. Number 2. Floybanen Funicular to Mount Floyen. No visit to Bergen is complete without a journey up Mount Floyen. The Floybanen Funicular to Mount Floyen is one of Bergen's most iconic attractions, offering a unique combination of an exciting ride and stunning panoramic views. This funicular railway connects the city centre of Bergen with the top of Mount Floyen, one of the city's seven surrounding mountains. It provides a fast, comfortable, and picturesque journey to one of the best viewpoints in the region. The journey begins at the Floybanen station, just a few steps from Briggen, Bergen's historic harbour area. The funicular ride to Mount Floyen takes about five to eight minutes. As the carriage ascends, passengers are treated to an increasingly spectacular view of Bergen, its fjords, and the surrounding landscapes. The funicular operates year-round and runs every 15 minutes, making it a convenient option for tourists and locals. Mount Floyen is the starting point for many hiking trails, offering a range of difficulty levels, from easy walks to challenging hikes. These trails meander through beautiful Norwegian forests and offer serene nature experiences. The area at the top of Floyen includes a playground and a troll forest, making it an enjoyable spot for families with children. A restaurant at the summit is where visitors can enjoy meals or refreshments with a view. At the restaurant, you have the choice of sitting indoors or outdoors. A souvenir shop at the top sells various Norwegian gifts and memorabilia, perfect for taking a piece of Bergen home with you. Tickets can be purchased at the Floybanen station or online. There are options for one-way or round-trip tickets. Number 1. Briggen Wharf. Famous for its colorful, old wooden houses and historic charm, Briggen Wharf is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
This area was a significant part of the Hanseatic League's trading empire during the Middle Ages. The wooden structures, some dating back to the 1700s, now house charming boutiques, cozy cafes, and art galleries. This iconic site, listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, symbolizes Bergen's rich maritime heritage and a vibrant, living part of the city. The first thing that strikes visitors is the row of dynamic, leaning wooden buildings facing the harbor. These structures, with their distinct architecture, are emblematic of Bergen. Bergen is home to numerous artists and artisans. Their workshops and galleries are excellent places to find unique local handicrafts, art, and souvenirs. The area also boasts several restaurants and cafes, where visitors can sample traditional Norwegian cuisine and international dishes. Beginning in June and continuing through September, visitors to Bryggen may join guided walking tours in English. These excursions will take them to medieval Bergen sites, Hanseatic merchants' lives, and artifacts from that era. A visit to Bryggen Hanseatic Wharf is more than just a step back in time, it's an immersion into the essence of what made Bergen a crucial maritime center in medieval Europe. The blend of historical ambience, cultural richness, and lively modern activities makes Bryggen a unique and unmissable destination in Bergen. For viewers of Din Suite Travels, Bergen is not just a destination, it's an experience. Whether you're a history buff, a nature enthusiast, an art lover, or a curious traveler, Bergen has something to offer. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Bergen, a city where history, culture, and nature come together in perfect harmony. Until next time, keep exploring, and let Din Sweet Travels be your guide to the world's most enchanting destinations. Bergen, the heart of the fjords, awaits your return. Norway is situated in Northern Europe. It shares borders with Sweden to the east, Finland to the northeast, and Russia to the far northeast. Norway is also known for its extensive coastline along the North Atlantic Ocean. The country is well known for its magnificent natural landscapes, which encompass fjords, mountains, and the iconic Arctic wilderness in the northern parts. Norway is part of the Scandinavian Peninsula, which it shares with Sweden and a part of Finland. The capital city of Norway is Oslo, located in the southeastern part of the country. Norway has approximately 6 million people. Welcome back to Din Sweet Travels. Today, we're journeying through the vibrant and cosmopolitan city of Oslo, the capital of Norway. Known for its rich history, stunning architecture, and beautiful green spaces, Oslo offers a unique blend of cultural and natural attractions. Join me as we discover this dynamic Scandinavian city's top 7 must-visit places. Number 7. The Oslo Opera House The contemporary architecture of the Oslo Opera House, where the Norwegian National Opera and Ballet reside, is truly remarkable. Designed to resemble a glacier jutting out of the fjord, it's angular, white exterior and vast windows create a stunning visual impact. Visitors can walk on the roof for panoramic views of Oslo and the fjord. Visiting the Oslo Opera House is an experience that merges architectural brilliance, cultural immersion, and an appreciation for the arts. Situated at the head of the Oslo fjord, the Opera House is renowned for its modernist design and has become an iconic symbol of Norwegian culture and sophistication. Designed by the architectural firm Snowhetta, the building is known for its contemporary design, with a roof that angles to ground level, creating a large plaza inviting pedestrians to walk up and enjoy the panoramic views of Oslo. The facade is clad in white marble and glass, symbolizing the fjord's icebergs. 
The interior is equally stunning, with oak wood giving a warm, inviting feel. A distinctive feature of the Oslo Opera House is the ability to walk on its roof, granting visitors magnificent views of the city and fjord. This location is well known among locals and tourists, especially during summer. The Opera House is located in the Bjorvika neighborhood, easily accessible by public transportation or on foot from the city center. The building is designed to be accessible to everyone. Wheelchair users and others with mobility challenges can easily navigate the premises. Visiting the Oslo Opera House is more than just an outing. It's an immersion into architectural beauty, high culture, and the arts. Whether you're there to enjoy a performance, learn about the architecture, or soak in the panoramic views, it's a place that offers a unique and memorable experience. Number 6. The National Gallery The National Gallery part of the National Museum of Art, Architecture, and Design holds Norway's most extensive public collection of paintings, drawings, and sculptures. Established in 1837, it has been pivotal in narrating Norway's artistic heritage and showcasing masterpieces from various art movements. The gallery's Norwegian art collection is a journey through the country's cultural and artistic history. It includes works by famous Norwegian artists like Edward Munch, J.C. Dahl, and Hans Good offering insights into the Norwegian Romantic and Realistic art movements, perhaps the most famous piece in the gallery Edward Munch's, The Scream, is a must-see. This iconic work embodying existential angst and the human condition has profoundly impacted modern art and continues to resonate with audiences worldwide. In addition to Norwegian art, the gallery also houses a significant collection of international artworks. It features pieces from European masters such as Picasso, Monet, and Cezanne, providing a comprehensive overview of European art history. Whether you're a passionate art lover or just passing by, the gallery provides a varied and enlightening experience fostering a tremendous admiration for the impact and allure of art. Number 5. The Norwegian Museum of Cultural History This open-air museum, one of the largest in Europe, showcases Norwegian history from the Middle Ages to the 20th century. It features a collection of more than 150 traditional houses from different regions of Norway, vividly portraying historical, rural, and urban Norwegian life, as well as a stave church from the 1200s. Located on the Bigdoy Peninsula in Oslo, among the oldest open-air museums globally, the Norwegian Museum of Cultural History is also one of the largest. What makes this museum truly special is its living history approach. During the summer, actors in period costumes demonstrate traditional crafts, prepare meals using historical methods, and engage in everyday activities of past eras, providing visitors with an interactive and immersive experience. The museum's centerpiece is the Gol Stave Church, originally built in the 1200s. This beautifully preserved wooden church, with its intricate carvings and medieval architecture, is a testament to Norway's religious and architectural history. The museum features a variety of buildings, including farmhouses, barns, workshops, and a replica of an early 20th century Oslo street, complete with shops, apartments, and a pharmacy. Each building is carefully curated to reflect its original period, offering a window into the lives of the people there. Visitors can observe and participate in traditional Norwegian crafts and activities, such as bread baking, weaving, and wood carving. 
These hands-on experiences provide a deeper understanding and appreciation of Norwegian cultural traditions. Number 4. Holman Collin Ski Jump and Museum With its distinctive architecture, the Holman Collin Ski Jump has been a landmark in Oslo since 1892. Regularly updated and rebuilt, the current structure, completed in 2010, is a marvel of modern engineering and design. This remarkable structure is a testament to Norway's rich skiing heritage and offers some of the most breathtaking views of Oslo. The adjacent ski museum, the oldest of its kind in the world, traces over 4,000 years of skiing history, including an exhibition on polar exploration. It regularly hosts World Cup ski jumping events, drawing athletes and spectators worldwide. One of the highlights of visiting Holman Collin is the viewing platform at the top of the ski jump. After an elevator ride and a few steps, you're rewarded with panoramic views of Oslo, the Oslofjord, and the surrounding forested hills. It's a spectacular vantage point that's to be noticed. The museum's extensive collection includes everything from ancient rock carvings depicting skiing to gear used by polar explorers and Olympic champions. Highlights include Roald Amundsen's skis from his South Pole expedition and equipment from famous ski jumpers like Bjorn Werkola and Espen Bredesen. The museum isn't just about observing, it's an interactive experience. Visitors can try a ski jump simulator to understand the sport's thrills and challenges. It's an exciting activity for both kids and adults. Visiting Holman Collins Ski Jump and Museum is not just about sports, it's a celebration of Norwegian culture, history, and the spirit of adventure. Whether you're a ski enthusiast or simply looking for a unique experience in Oslo, Holman Collin provides an unforgettable journey into the heart of skiing heritage. Number 3. The Viking Ship Museum The world's finest Viking ships and artifacts are on display at the Viking Ship Museum. The museum's highlights include the Osberg and Gokstad ships, which are over 1,000 years old, and an array of Viking treasures such as sleds, beds, a horse cart, wood carvings, and grave goods. Renowned for housing some of the world's best preserved Viking ships and artifacts, this museum offers a rare glimpse into the fascinating world of the Vikings. The Viking Ship Museum, part of the Museum of Cultural History at the University of Oslo, is home to several Viking-era artifacts, including ships over a thousand years old. It is a testament to the advanced shipbuilding skills and maritime prowess of the Vikings, showcasing their significant role in history. The Osberg ship, the museum's centerpiece, is the most well-preserved Viking ship ever discovered. Unearthed from a large burial mound at the Osberg farm near Tonsberg in Vestfold in 1904, it is believed to have been used as a burial ship for a high-ranking woman in the Viking Age. Alongside the Osberg ship, the museum also houses the Gokstad and Tune ships, each with its unique story and significance. The Gokstad ship, found in a burial mound at Gokstad Farm, showcases a maritime Viking ship, and the Tune ship offers valuable information about Viking burial practices despite its lesser preservation. Beyond the ships, the museum displays a rich collection of artifacts from the Viking Age, including sleds, beds, a horse cart, wood carvings, and grave goods. These exhibits comprehensively understand Viking life, culture, and their voyages across the seas. Number 2. Akashis Fortress Overlooking the Oslo Fjord, 
Akashis Fortress is a medieval castle transformed into a Renaissance royal residence. It offers a glimpse into Oslo's military history and stunning harbour views. The fortress also houses several museums and is a popular venue for major events and ceremonies. Akashis Fortress, built around 1290 by King Haakon V, has been a central part of Oslo's landscape for centuries. Throughout its history, it functioned as a royal residence, prison, and military base, playing a crucial role in Norway's defense. The fortress has withstood numerous sieges throughout the years yet has never been successfully captured by a foreign enemy. The fortress is an exemplary showcase of medieval Norwegian architecture. Over the years, it has undergone several renovations, especially in the 17th and 18th centuries, adding Renaissance and Baroque elements to its structure. Akashis Fortress is still a military area but is open to the public. It houses several museums, including the Norwegian Armed Forces Museum and Norway's Resistance Museum, offering intriguing insights into the country's military history. One of the highlights of visiting the fortress is its stunning view of the Oslo Harbour and Fjord. The strategic location of the fortress on a hill provides a unique vantage point to take in the scenic beauty of the surrounding area. Number 1. Vigeland Sculpture Park At Frogner Park, you'll discover no other sculpture park in the world can surpass the size of the Vigeland Sculpture Park which a single artist created. The park is filled with more than 200 sculptures in bronze, granite, and wrought iron created by Gustav Vigeland. This open-air gallery showcases the human form in various expressions and poses. As we conclude our visit to Vigeland Sculpture Park in Oslo, were left with a lasting impression of the profound artistic legacy of Gustav Vigeland. This remarkable park, more than just a display of sculptures, is a testament to the universal experiences of life, capturing moments of joy, sorrow, conflict, and love in its striking figures. Each sculpture tells its own story, inviting visitors to reflect on the depth and complexity of human emotions and relationships. As we leave the gates of Vigeland Sculpture Park, we take with us a deeper understanding of and appreciation for human expression in all its forms. I appreciate you accompanying me on this extraordinary exploration of Oslo's sites. These destinations, each with its charm and history, have given us a glimpse into the essence of Norway and memories to cherish for a lifetime. Oslo is a city that combines history, culture, and natural beauty effortlessly. Each of these seven attractions offers a unique insight into the city's and Norway's heritage and contemporary life. Whether seeking artistic inspiration, historical knowledge, or leisurely exploration, Oslo has something special for everyone. Keep following Din Sweet Travels for more adventures that unveil our fascinating world's beauty, history, and culture. Until next time, keep exploring, keep discovering, and let every journey broaden your horizons. Watching the sunset and seeing the fjords bathed in golden light brings a touch of sadness. The end of our expedition through Norway's four largest cities, each a distinct chapter in a saga of adventure, history, and natural splendor, looms near. Yet, as we reflect on the paths traversed, from the bustling streets of Oslo to the serene landscapes of Bergen, the historical echoes of Trondheim, and the rugged beauty of Stavanger, there's a sense of fulfillment of having witnessed the soul of Norway in all its varied facets. Oslo welcomed us with open arms, a city where modernity and tradition coexist harmoniously. The Vigeland Park spoke of the human condition with its evocative sculptures. At the same time, 
The sleek opera house, jutting out into the fjord like an iceberg, showcased Norway's cutting-edge design. It was a fitting introduction to a country that prides itself on innovation yet holds its history dear. Bergen, with its colorful Brigand Wharf and the surrounding seven mountains, offered a different narrative, one of maritime prowess and a deep connection with nature. The Fjord Cruise was a journey through time, unveiling landscapes that have inspired legends. Here, the rain seemed to cleanse the soul, and the fish market buzzed with life, a testament to the city's enduring relationship with the sea. Trondheim, the ancient capital, was a pilgrimage to the past. The majestic Naderos Cathedral stood as a beacon of Norway's rich heritage, its spires reaching towards the heavens as if in silent testimony to the city's historical significance. Walking through the Backlanday district, with its wooden houses and cobblestone streets, was like stepping into a fairy tale, a reminder of the layers of history that permeate every corner of this land. And then there was Stavanger, a juxtaposition of the old and the new, where oil rigs and medieval churches coexist. The hike to Pulpit Rock was a rite of passage, challenging our limits and rewarding us with vistas so breathtaking they seemed painted by the divine hand itself. In many ways, Stavanger encapsulated the essence of our journey, a blend of resilience, beauty, and the enduring strength of nature. As we bid farewell to Norway, it's not just the sights we carry with us but the stories, the whispers of the past, the laughter of the present, and the silent promise of return. This journey has been more than a mere exploration of cities, it has been a voyage into the heart of Norway, a country that defies expectations, transcends stereotypes, and invites you to find a piece of yourself among its mountains, fjords, and cities. To travel through Norway's four largest cities is to experience the tapestry of life itself, vibrant, intricate, and endlessly beautiful. Ultimately, our journey through Oslo, Bergen, Trondheim, and Stavanger has been a testament to the enduring allure of Norway, a land where history breathes, nature speaks, and the soul finds a reflection in the world's mirror. As we look back, it's with gratitude for the memories made, the beauty witnessed, and the stories gathered. With its resilient spirit and breathtaking landscapes, Norway has etched itself into our hearts, a reminder of the adventure in pursuing the horizon. And sir, as we close this chapter, we understand that every end is but a prelude to new beginnings. With its endless days and mystical nights, Norway calls for a promise of return, for the journey, as we've discovered, is never truly over. It lives on in the tales we tell, the dreams we weave, and the paths we yearn to tread once more. Until then, farewell, Norway, and thank you for the journey of a lifetime.